Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. With the NBA season kicking off, man, I want to give you guys my prediction on the Cavs versus Celtics. Let's get into the video. What's up guys? I just wanted to give a quick shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is an app where you guys can buy tickets to music, sports, or comedy events. They even score each ticket to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad deal, which makes buying tickets much more simple. They even allow you to see the view from where you're going to sit before you purchase the tickets. If you guys want $20 off of your first order, make sure you guys click the link in the description, sign up, and use the promo code King Carter once you download the app. So with the NBA season kicking off, EA Sports has done a live simulation with NBA Live 18 to show what the outcome would be. Now, my bold prediction is going to be a little bit later in this video, but let's talk about NBA Live 18 and their simulation. Now, one thing that I can definitely say, man, D-Wade will be back, man. He's probably going to have those fresh legs now that he's with LeBron. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, Kevin Love going off for 40 points? I don't know, big bruh. I don't know. Now, I know that Horford is a dominant force in the paint, but lately, Horford has been shooting threes just like Kevin Love, so I don't see how dominant he can be in the paint, but you never know. Now, as far as I'm concerned, with this gameplay, where is Kyrie Irving? Where is Isaiah Thomas? These two just seem like they haven't even matched up in this simulation. If Gordon and Hayward goes off but doesn't have enough to get the W, what was Kyrie doing all game? Did he get injured? Did he sit? Was he not productive? Who knows? Now for my prediction on this game. I believe that the Cavaliers will win 111 to 103. Now I know what you're thinking, why 111 to 103? Because I feel like the Cavs have a deeper bench. They have a way, way better bench than the Celtics right now. And I think that overall, once LeBron does get that triple double, they probably will, you know, breeze on by probably take him out like with the three minute mark give him a standing ovation round of applause he's gonna put his fist up to the crowd you know what i'm saying and then he's gonna do like thirty thousand handshakes in the huddle after the game because you know that's what lebron do you know they, they got them handshakes down but uh all in all man i really think that the Cavs will win this game as far as the celtics man they're gonna have a, a uphill battle they look good on paper but I don't think LeBron wants to lose, and he doesn't want to start the season off with a loss to Kyrie. It's too much bad blood out there, man. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Kyrie's going to have to answer for everything he's been saying in the offseason, man. Cav fans are pissed at this dude, man. Every Cav fan that I know literally hates Kyrie's guts. Literally. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Tell me what your predictions are. Let me know box scores. Let me know who you think is going to get a triple-double. Who you think is going to go for 20. Who you think is going to score a bunch of points. I still don't think Kevin Love is going to score 40. Heck no. My man might have a smooth 17. Smooth 17. 40? Nah. Don't believe it, man. But I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Make sure you guys spin with that like button. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. And make sure you guys subscribe. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Chase Money.